Okay, let's try this again. I apologize everyone. I really wanted that last video to be one take and unbeknownst to me for some inexplicable reason the camera quit recording as I was doing all the hard work of unboxing and uh, that's too bad because I was sitting here talking to myself for a good long while not knowing that you weren't getting any of it. So we pulled everything out of the box. The paddleboard is here in some nice plastic packaging. It looks good. We assembled the paddle really briefly. Um, it looks good. All the connections seem good and solid on it. The other people have commented the handles slipping about here. Currently just testing it here in the house. That is not an issue. It's basic but it looks like it'll do the job just fine. And we pulled out all of our goodies. We got our repair kit and our valve wrench. We got our complimentary dry bag which is really nice because this is enough to keep your towel from getting wet when waves splash over the nose of the board or anything like that about a $15 value so be sure to factor that in when you're comparing to other ones and this is the other stuff that was in the box we've got a hose here it looks like your standard plastic guy it's got a nice o-ring that I can see down in there but it does not have a free spinning connector, so we're going to want to put that on our pump first before we try to put the other end in the paddle board. We have a single stage pump, pretty basic. Um, our gauge looks okay so far. It's not already reading 20 psi or whatever happened to some other poor reviewer. And we'll get this prepped. You don't want to crank on plastic on plastic fittings too hard, but yeah, we'll see if this pump ends up giving us any trouble or not. A lot of people have complained about the pump. If this one gives us any issues, I'll probably just end up using my wife's out of her kit, or truth be told, I'll probably end up using the air compressor if I have my way, because that would be easier still. So we've got a big sheet of plastic to pull out of here. Oh, I forgot to mention other things that were in the box, of course. We have the backpack bag. Um, it looks good. It's plenty big. Backpack straps. i got to run the straps through there. I noticed that it's plain black. The bag is not branded, so they had photoshopped that on some uh, some promotional images, but no actual branding on the bag. One of the corners cut is there's no padding on the back of this, whereas the peak board actually has padded straps and padded backrest material. But I don't think, uh, you know, for the amount of money saved for this one over the other one, that that's the end of the world. The ankle strap looks really nice. It's uh, nice and soft, and however that connector works, swivel things, seems good. I don't really plan to use that necessarily. And there's the three fins, the removable fins. So having got a look at those, let's get our plastic off of this guy. Sorry for any poor camera angle in the meantime. It said that I wanted to keep this video brief, so we've got to just keep moving along. And now I'm double checking every few seconds to make sure the camera's still recording. So this looks good so far. Really nice material here, bright colors. So looking nice. This looks like the identical valve to the Peak brand one over there. We're going to go ahead and uh, find out what it takes to pump it up with a single stage pump. Uh, since my video already got broken up into a couple clips, I'll probably just pause this one and start another one. All right, we're about to give this a whirl to pump up with the uh, single stage pump that is included with the kit. I've uh, done this a couple of times with the dual stage pump on my wife's board so we'll see if I notice significantly longer pumping times just to get this one inflated here so let's see away we go in fact
fact, uh, who wants the camera to hold still while I'm pumping around like a maniac? Probably everybody, so I'm going to set the camera down real, real quick so you don't have to bounce it around, and uh, maybe we'll just do a time lapse of it inflating for you. All right, let's see how much pumping it takes to fill this guy up. We're going to call it good right about there. It's about 1, 2, 3, 13. Let's see how much we lose. Not bad at all. Valve has a clean release. Gauge seemed to work on the pump. And there we have it. Let's get you a look at the whole thing. Okay. Whew. Sorry, I'm going to be winded, but... Uh, Looks like it was about, give or take, five minutes of pumping time. Six round trip if you count my brakes. The valve released cleanly with no issues. So we'll put that on there. Just seal him up good. There's only one D-ring in the back, but it's a really heavy duty, thick looking one. So that looks pretty good. Uh, the board looks really good inflated. Looks like our graphics are nice and centered on there. We got our cargo bungees up front. These D-rings look pretty good. Nice vinyl reinforcement around them. I think uh, extra there, but oof. I'm a little winded. I'm not in great shape. Maybe paddle boarding will put me in good shape. It feels, you know, on the on the ground here, it feels very sturdy, very stable. I'm right at 150 pounds, so I'm not the type to stress this thing a lot, but it looks and feels very rigid. Got nice foam covering on our handle here. Flip her over. Got a clean bottom. I appreciate that all three fins are removable because that is what allows me to lay it flat and test stand up and pump on it like that. So this is all good here. Everything's looking nice on that guy. <sighs> We're ready to hit the water. <laughs> 